Jerry Harrison Jr. spent 16 years in the Grande Ligas, uh, played for a number what? of teams. Last couple of years, he was a Dodger, and for the last this number of years, 16 years, he has been an analyst on Sportsnet <laughs> LA. Despite Harold's heckling, he is a friend of ours here at the network. Jerry, good morning to you. Morning, guys. Can you believe it, Harold? I fooled all those teams for 16 years. That that should be like an Oscar. That's I acted it. like a big leaguer. I'm telling you years. that. Your dad and your brother. The Harrisons hung around a long time around baseball, man. It's impressive. Very, very fortunate. We love the game, and we just love to, love to be out there. And because you ended your career with the Dodgers and you've been at Sportsnet LA for a number of years, we wanted to get your thoughts on the news cycle as it relates to the deals the Dodgers have made and haven't made. So I want to start with the one that they didn't make because we spent some time this morning talking about what may have gone wrong in the Jock Peterson deal with the Angels. For you... Is there still a trade for him out there this winter, or is he going to break camp with the Dodgers? Well, I hope not, because I love Jock Peterson. I was watching your show earlier, and Harold, you touched on it. It's hard to find guys like Jock Peterson that give you that production, especially at the top of the lineup against right-handed pitchers. I, I, I believe he hit nine leadoff home runs last season. He's got light tower power. Uh, he's fun to watch, but again, you know, let's make no mistake about it, guys. They call it the luxury tax or ceiling, but it's really a salary cap. And I think the Dodgers would like to get under it. Can they be creative and find a way to keep Jock Peterson and maybe uh, move other pieces to get under that uh, luxury tax? That's yet to be seen. But, you know, Jock Peterson is such a great teammate. Uh, he understands it's a business. His father played. Uh, sure, you never want to be uh, talked about in, in trade rumors or even find out that you've been dealt. But again, he's a pro's pro. Uh, he understands the game of baseball. And if he's back in camp, he best believe he's going to play hard. All right, well, while we jockey around with Jock, let's figure this one out. Mookie Betts and David Price are coming to the Dodgers. Wow. When you heard that, what was your first reaction? Well, first, uh, wow. Uh, again, L.A. is about superstars. We, we have LeBron. We have A.D. right now. Uh, you have a Mookie Betts with Cody Bellinger, arguably the two best players, all-around players in all of baseball. Uh, for your outfield, first of all, their defense gets better. You got Mookie in right, Cody Bellinger in center field. Incredible uh, throwing arms each. They have incredible range out there. They know how to play the game. I love Mookie Betts at the top of the Dodgers lineup because he brings speed. He brings power. Uh, and, you know, he brings athleticism. There's nothing you can't he can't do on a baseball field. Very similar to Mike Trout and Cody Bellinger. So you get the top two, in my opinion, top five players in all of baseball, and Cody Bellinger and Mookie Betts in the same outfield. But everybody's not really touching on David Price. David Price has a lot to prove. You remember last year he pitched with assist on his throwing hand. He's 100% healthy. The Dodgers are not going to ask him to throw 200 innings. Uh, maybe taper his, his starts a little bit, maybe throw around 140, 150 innings, make sure he's fresh. And I think David Price is going to welcome this change of scenery in L.A. He's going to pitch with a chip on his shoulder, and I can't wait to see him pitch in September and October. I, I, I agree with you 100%. I think he's a big part of this deal that's getting overlooked. The Dodgers, as they head into spring training, I would have to think the mindset is we don't win a World Series. It's a disappointment. Absolutely. I totally agree with you guys. First of all, there's nothing wrong with winning uh, the NL West. There's nothing wrong with going to the playoffs. Again, you always try to put yourself in position to win World Series. But, you know, just talking to those guys like Justin Turner, Kenley Jansen, Clayton Kershaw, they understand it's all about one thing, winning the World Series. And the fan base has been starving for a championship. And again, winning is hard. You need a lot of things to go your way, but I think the Dodgers have really positioned themselves, especially now with the Mookie Betts trade and David Price. And that young guy they got from Minnesota, I can't believe uh, Andrew Friedman was able to get him. Uh, kid, we're not, we haven't even talked yeah, about Gratterall. 100, Gratterall throws 100 miles an hour to put in our bullpen. And the Dodgers, in my opinion, uh, probably has the best team in all of baseball. So they're going to be fun to watch, but best believe it's all about winning championships. Jerry, did you notice the smug way in which Harold pronounced the man's last name? He's been <laughs> kicking it around for like two weeks. And got it right. He finally got it right. He had to let us know. Hey, I want to ask you before we let you go about, because there's so much conversation, you know, the Dodgers were the bridesmaids 
uh, in the last uh, couple of World Series that were clouded with this scandal. Not last year, of course, but 2017 and 18. Losing to the Astros, losing to the Red Sox. People in the media have talked about that. Oh, poor Dodgers, they must be so upset. Are the Dodgers themselves talking about that and thinking of it the same way? Well, we could only address the, the Astros, obviously because the commissioners already ruled on them. And if you never want to be cheated, you never want to feel like the other team had lit clearly the upper hand and using signs, using trash cans, possibly buzzers. Uh, and I think that the series would have went a different way if they had not cheated. But, hey, it's in the past. Um, you have to get past it. Even though it may sting a little bit, you got to focus on the now. It happened in 2017. We're in 2020. Let's focus on this season. The Dodgers, in my opinion, on paper, have the best team in all of baseball. Find a way to get it done this season. It's all about winning a ring and focus on 2020 and let bygones be bygones. And that's the mindset you have to have. I mean, I know it's difficult, but once spring training hits, remember the commissioner has ruled on 17 with the Astros. I hear there's a ruling going to be on the 18 uh, Red Sox uh, down the road, but you have to focus on this season because this is what you really can worry about and focus on. The Dodgers have a great team. Find a way to get it done. 16 year veteran, former Dodger, and uh, current Sportsnet LA analyst Jerry Harrison joining us on the Monday program. Jerry, good seeing you, man. Thanks for the, the chat today. Anytime, guys. Great you know job, what? Can man, I, with this interview. Can I, can I say on, on TV, Dontro Willis, Josh Barfield, Ben Francisco, these guys have been ducking me on the golf course, man. I beat them every time now, and now they, <laughs> they don't want to play me anymore. So I'm putting, I'm putting on blast on MLB Network right now. There it is. Come find me, guys. It's a shout-out. <laughs> Looking for a Come golf game. I love that. Jerry, thanks, man. <laughs> Anytime, guys.